Yes, uh, it's Monday. Global markets are worried that there could be more turmoil. The lira so far on Monday hit a record low again against the dollar during Asian Pacific trade. It did recover somewhat afterwards, uh, but this follows the 20 percent fall last week. And as we've heard, uh, it's lost almost half its, its value this year. Uh, the finance minister, Beirat Albayrak, has given uh, an interview to Huriat. He's talking about a new uh, action plan to help the economy, particularly helping banks uh, and medium-sized businesses who are particularly exposed to uh, currency fluctuations. Uh, the government's denied reports that they're looking to seize uh, accounts held in dollars because markets are pretty nervous about that. Um, but the finance minister echoed a lot of the nationalist rhetoric there. We've heard from President Erdogan over the weekend describing the, the lira's weakness as an attack. Uh, this, of course, follows Donald Trump's announcement that they're going to double uh, uh, tariffs on, on steel and aluminium exports. Um, but the Turkish economy's problems go deeper than that. Um, there's been record borrowing, high inflation. Debt held by Turkish companies uh, is enormous. Um, I took the Turkish language team here at Euronews tell me that European companies are particularly exposed to that debt. And the concern is, well, how are they going to finance that debt with the, with the currency so weak and with inflation so high? Because uh, Erdogan simply refuses to put interest rates up. Yeah, so is that he, he, did, he did use strong words, plot against Turkey financial war, put it, put it into context. Is that what he was talking about? Well, it seems that he's using this to, to crank up a, a, a nationalist feeling of the countries under threat from uh, the U.S. and the West. Um, his rhetoric again over the weekend, the U.S. is threatening us, is uh, uh, they're undermining an old ally. Um, and incidentally, the local media have weighed in on his side, attacking the foreign agencies, uh, foreign news agencies, newspapers and Donald Trump. Uh, relations with the U.S. have, have long been worsening. They're uh, obviously um, over Syria. Uh, we've had the, the, the latest dispute over the U.S. pastor, Andrew Brunson, who's held in spying charges. And yesterday, Erdogan accused the U.S. of trying to impose a deadline for his release. Um, but the concerns go beyond the relationship between Turkey and the U.S. There's concern over Erdogan's handling of the economy. Since he won the election, he's increased his presidential powers and there are concerns that he's looking to tighten his own personal grip over the monetary policy. And his finance minister, of course, is none other than his son-in-law, which begs questions about his credibility. And, and very briefly, uh, Alistair, uh, just that uh, Russian foreign minister is in Ankara today and uh, Turkey is still part of a group who's trying to, I think, deal with Syria. So they're still part of a group. This summit is about Syria. Uh, and France and Germany are present. Yes, Sergei Lavrov is in, in Turkey today. Um, but, of course, the timing of it against the backdrop of this row with the US. There are now uh, people saying, well, is this the beginning of a shift, Turkey's shift away from the West, perhaps looking to uh, increase its ties uh, with Russia? Certainly this is seen as a potential uh, opportunity for President Putin.